Hello wonderful person, this is Anton, and imagine a situation where an object that's very large and very destructive is about to hit Earth. Such as for example how many right here, or maybe some kind of a large asteroid that we've detected, I don't know, like a year or two prior to the collision. What are we going to do? What's, our, what's your first reaction? What is your first solution? And if you said nuke it, or use nuclear weapons, you would be surprised about this new research that says that's basically the worst thing you can do. As a matter of fact, it turns out that nuking asteroid will do nothing. Asteroid, as it turns out, are basically immune to nuclear weapons. And let me explain to you how this research was conducted and what they've discovered. Now, first of all, I think most people um, have seen Armageddon by now in the famous scene here, where essentially right before the asteroid strikes uh, the planet, they detonate the nuclear weapons and the entire asteroid explodes, separates into several parts and flies around the planet. Now, there's a lot of problems with that particular idea to begin with, but what I wanted to do specifically is show you how this particular simulation is basically completely wrong. This is not how nuclear explosions uh, happen inside rocks, and this is not what would happen to an asteroid either. And so this is the paper that I'm going to be basing this on, and you can find it in the description below and read it for yourself. But essentially what the scientists in this paper did was use uh, supercomputers to simulate what would happen to a typical rock with a known density and known size if you were to explode something on it, or better, even inside of it. And here is the kicker. Watch what happens if you were to explode a bomb inside an asteroid. And also watch the timer right here that shows you uh, hours after the actual explosion. So this is of course assuming that the nuclear bomb is somewhere um, either close to the surface or maybe deep inside the asteroid. And as soon as this happens, an asteroid explodes, within about an hour, the actual core of the asteroid reforms. And this is really interesting because they've done this several times and they've discovered that the uh, asteroid will take less than three hours to reform most of the lost mass, essentially forming the core, only losing some of the mass to the explosion, which will eventually also come back and land on the surface. In other words, if I were to try to explode this object here, technically speaking, um, it wouldn't just suddenly fly apart into pieces. The actual core would eventually return back and um, reform and then strike Earth. Essentially, exploding an asteroid does absolutely nothing. Oh, and I just accidentally exploded Earth as well. Well, that's something I do sometimes. But yeah, the idea here is absolutely brilliant, or at least the discovery is absolutely brilliant, because this really removes any kind of a scenario where nuclear weapons come into play. Now, there's still some chance that Russia might actually use nuclear weapons to detonate it on Apophis asteroid to test and see what happens. They were actually planning to launch this mission in uh, mid-2030s, and the idea here was to, uh, while the asteroid is really far from Earth, to possibly test a nuclear weapon on it. But as this particular simulation that I just showed you demonstrates, um, it seems that, well, if you explode something and it's really massive, the core will most likely return back, for reform, and still be quite hazardous. And scientists themselves actually mentioned that we used to think that larger objects would break more easily because, um, well, bigger objects like this one have more flaws in them. But what they've discovered is that it seems that the asteroids are a lot more resilient than we believed. And this also suggests that the energy required to actually explode this object would be tremendously larger than we assumed. So a simple nuclear weapon or even a hydrogen bomb would probably not be enough. You would need to place like hundreds of them inside of the asteroid for it to actually have a dramatic effect, for it to really sort of disappear completely and explode. A conventional bomb, however, will probably not really do this. It's not going to do um, export an object and have parts fly apart. All of these parts will eventually come back and reform again. Now, honestly, that's a huge finding. That's a really big discovery. This really changes our approach to everything. We now need to start planning missions, which are actually already planned, uh, where we uh, analyze what happens to an asteroid if you nudge it. This is probably the best solution to a potential hazardous asteroid. We basically need to find out how much force we need to apply to a surface of an asteroid by colliding something with it really, really, really fast 
and possibly giving it a nudge on the side by basically bumping into it like this. And if you do this, it will get inertia and it will get momentum uh, to move in that direction and hopefully this will be enough for it to not collide with our planet. So right now that's probably the only solution we have. There were a few other really creative solutions, like for example, um, placing a specific reflective material on the surface of the asteroid and having um, then sun do the work for us by creating an effect similar to a solar sail where the sun basically pushes onto the surface of an asteroid and then changes its trajectory. Now, all these ideas will have to be tested one day, but for now, nuclear weapons and the whole premise of Armageddon, Deep Impact, and any other movie that used this idea are basically out. We just can't do it. It's not gonna work. Now, if you want to watch this simulation and also if you want to read the paper, all of this is in the description below. And um, I honestly think this is probably one of the coolest discoveries that were made using a supercomputer. And I guess the most surprising result here is how quickly the core reforms. It only takes like three hours. That's like nothing. And this makes you realize how we totally misunderstood how asteroids work to begin with. And uh, this research is actually done at John Hopkins University and they use their supercomputer that they have there. And uh, it's been doing some amazing job and creating some really, really crazy simulations that actually help us understand how things in space work to begin with. But I think in the last year or so, this has to be the coolest. And anyway, on that note, that's all I wanted to mention in this video. Hopefully now you know why Armageddon and Deep Impact were kind of basically as science fiction-y as they get. Even the actual idea of destroying an asteroid with a nuke would be pretty much impossible. I'll see you tomorrow, come back tomorrow to learn something else, space out, and as always, bye bye. And if you would like to support this channel on Patreon, the link should be coming up any second now, and it actually helps me tremendously. Thank you so much to all of you who've supported me for months or years, it really, really, really helps. I'll see you tomorrow, bye bye.